I just wanted to make a quick video on how I run my dado depths when I'm doing cabinets or any other kind of dados. So a lot of times when you buy plywood, uh, half inch, three quarter inch, it's not actually one half inch or three quarter inches. So this three quarter inch plywood right here, if I take out my dial calipers and I measure, I've got almost exactly 0.7, just about a thousandth over 0.7. Obviously, 0.75 would be three quarter. Um, and so you're thinking, is the 0 0.05 gonna make a difference in the dado? It's actually a pretty large gap, especially when you want a tight dado. So instead of measuring the depth of the dado itself, I measure how deep I want the actual, let's say this is the side of a cabinet. So if this is the side of the cabinet here, what I like to do with this three quarter inches, and maybe I want a quarter inch dado, what I do is I set up my, my double square here to one half inch, because that's what I want to have remaining. So that would be a quarter inch dado depth, but obviously this is uh, slightly undersized. So what I do is I set up the piece of plywood that I have here, and then I get down close, and I set up my depth exactly at that one half inch. And we can get up closer. And so as you can see here, we've got the plywood with the half inch depth here. And then I can just move that dado stack up until I just barely touch the top of that outside tooth. And I can even check that it's a little high there, bring it down a bit, right there. So that's that perfect one half inch depth there and just about a quarter inch for the dado. So then you might ask, well, why not just cut a, a quarter inch deep and then the um, actual remaining wood is a little less than one half. Well, having that ex exact one half of remaining wood really makes measurement when you're doing cabinets a lot easier. If I know that this is one half inch and I have one half inch on the other side of a cabinet, let's say it's over here, I know that's one full inch. So. Let's say I want the cabinet to be 10 inches wide. I know I got a half inch here, I got a half inch here. The piece that's gonna slide into those dados needs to be nine inches. And then the cabinet will be exactly 10 inches wide instead of off by, you know, a 10th or something like that, um, which is at the end of the world, no, but once you start getting really precise, that can really cause you issues. Why not get that exact? And then your measurements are, are really easy. So that's just a quick little tr trick that I like to use for myself when I'm doing these dados. Um, and then also pay attention, if you're getting your plywood from multiple suppliers or even from the same supplier, but it's a different batch or a different um, manufacturer, the plywoods can be all over the place. So when you're building cabinets or whatever you're building, you wanna make sure to test with your dial calipers exactly how thick your plywood is and make sure you account for that when you're doing these types of measurements and try to batch whatever cabinets you're building with the thickness of the material that you have. So hopefully that's useful for anybody out there that's making cabinets or using any dados in their workshop. Thanks.